Hello everyone, in this video I will be solving Cambridge A-Level Information Technology Paper 4 Practical for February March 2021. I am going to solve task 2. Task 1 is already done and uploaded. You can find the link in the description. So task 2 is graphics. You are required to create a vector image of the cupcake. It must consist of three separate elements that closely match the following examples. So we need to create a case, a cake and a topping for the cake and each image should be saved separately. So we have the files here. These are the files given to us. So you can see already a cake image is given for the web page task. So since it's given, we can use this as a guide to create the image. So I will open a new artboard here. New file. Create. I'll just drag this image to see the shape and we can use this as a guide. So first let's create the case. For that I will draw a line here. And I will use the curve tool to curve it. Now to get the ridges, go to effect, distort and transform zigzag. You can make it smooth, increase the number of ridges. So I'm 16 here, I'll change it to 16. And the size should be reduced this way so that it's almost similar to the one which is shown in the image. So this is almost fine. You can keep this here. I'll keep another copy. We'll need this when you create the back side of the case. Now I'll use the pen tool to create this. Use the direct selection tool. So that this insects with the ridges here. Now select all the lines and this curve. Now go to object and give expand appearance because I want this as a closed figure. So before joining we have to give expand appearance otherwise the uh, curve, the ridges effect or the zigzag effect will be removed when you join. So now I have given expand appearance. Now again go to uh, right click you can uh, join it. So that this is one figure now and it's a closed figure. You can give the color.
almost similar color. Okay, and you can give the border red as given in the quest. Now let's curve this. You can use the curve tool to curve it. You see. Let's draw the lines. Make sure it touches the path. So the lines are drawn now. Now you can select all of them and group it. Now I am going to create the back side of the cover. Now for that we had already copied a similar uh, figure here. So now let's rotate this. Now we'll follow a similar procedure as we did this one. Let's draw a figure like this. Now go to object, expand appearance, right click, join. Now let's give the same fill color. This part we can see whether it will fit properly. You can see here the slight changes there. We can just curve it inside. Sorry, just adjust this part. Just double click and make it this way. Using the direct selection. Now, now it will fit properly. Now let's draw the lines as we did. Now 
So let's do the lines. Make sure it touches the path when you are drawing the line. Select all this and group it. Go to arrange and send to back. So now we have got the cover almost similar to the case given in this question. Just make this little bit this way. You can group it. Fine. Let's open a new file. Okay, this. Should be saved as case. So go to file, export, export as case followed by your sender number and candidate number. It should be SVG. So set it as SVG export okay next we have with the cake you can see the shape here uh, it is little bit uneven and some dots or squiggles are shown here so for that i will use the pen tool again Now you can use the curve tool, get a shape like this.
practice curve. It's not a uh, complete curve. You can make it a little bit uneven here and there. with the fill color. It's a color like this. Okay. There is no stroke for this. Now we need to draw a topping like this and some chips here for that. It's steady color to brown okay draw a line here Let's curve it like this, increase the stroke width. Now we'll click on the stroke here and set it to a round cap. Now we have to add these small items on the cake for that I use a brush tool and we can just draw randomly some elements. So we need to make sure the cake looks like this. Now select all the items on the cake and group it. In order to export we can open a new file and then copy the cake there. You can export it from here. Now we need to export this as cake. An SVG image followed by your sender number and candidate. So file export, export as inside your examination folder. The name is cake followed by your sender number and candidate number. Now the next part is the topping. For the topping we have to use the pen tool to trace the path for the top. We can use the pen tool. First let's trace the outline of the topping.
is the smooth tool. You can find the smooth tool here to make it smoother. Now the outline is a light yellow color. I give a fill color for this. I'm going to give this dark pink color as the fill. I'll draw this part. Again, use the smooth tool. For this, I'll leave the fill color. Now in this way we have to make these four segments with the pen tool and the smooth tool and give the fill color these light pink segments and place it over the top
again use the pen smooth tool here Now let's adjust this. Using the curve tool. So the topping is ready. You can group this. Let's copy this to a new file. Export this as topping. So file export the name is topic now we have to assemble the image to look like this and save the image as cupcake so now let's assemble the elements this you can remove this part the back side of the case I will send to back and this one bring to front
So this is the final image. You can group this. And it should be saved as cupcake. So let's export. Export as So this is the end of the graphics task. Next task is animation. It will be done in another video. Thank you for now.